Hello Lions fans, David Mayo from M Life here with Kyle Mikey. We uh, watched the Lions today and I'm sure you did too. Drop a really disappointing 16-15 game to the Tennessee Titans. A lot of things ha happened here today, Kyle. Penalties, injuries, a lot of reasons for this. Negated touchdowns. Some of the penalty stuff can be cleaned up, but the injury things are a real concern. How does this team kind of kind of bootstrap this thing together on the front seven, particularly next week? Yeah, I know people can't really see it, but they're actually putting plastic lining on the field right now. I think they're 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 wrapping the body at this point after <laughs> what just it went looks down like here. Bubble wrap. <laughs> uh, it's a big concern, Dave, to, with, with the injury point going into a, a week three game in Lambeau Field against the Packers. I know the Lions have that commanding one game winning streak at Lambeau. That's a historically a very difficult place to play for anybody. Of course, the Lions have had their own travails there over the years as well. They missed, uh, they lost six starters to injury in this game, Dave, in one form or another, um, including Ziggy Ansah, Amir Abdullah, uh, a couple others for, for the game. They were knocked out of the game totally. Kyle Van Noy, Antoine Williams. Um, these are all starters. As you'll probably notice, there are a bunch of more linebackers too, and that's mm -hmm. a huge issue because the Lions played this game without DeAndre Levy, uh, Josh Bynes is, was cut with, a, with an injury. Uh, John Bostic is NIR. All these guys play the same position. It's weak side linebacker. And of course, Levy's a, is, a, is, a, is a Pro Bowl caliber player at that position. The Lions don't have any of them. That's why they were starting a rookie strong side linebacker in the first place on the weak side. They lose him. Lions try to go it with just Van Noy and Whitehead basically for a stretch. And they manage, they, 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 they duct taped together basically for a couple of quarters. But at the very end of the third quarter there, then Van Noy goes down. And so basically, you're left with just Whitehead and then Thurston Arm, 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 arm Brister, the dude they just uh, acquired off waivers a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Brandon Copeland played a few snaps there at linebacker as well. It was just a, a real problem, Dave. And you, now you're going up against Aaron Rodgers. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do. Obviously, today, the, uh, the real bugaboo is 17 penalties, the NFL record. Lions. For penalties by a single uh, team in a game is 22, so they were only yep. five off the record. It just uh, 17 by the Lions, yeah, exactly. 17 Lions penalties, 100, 138 yards more penalty yards than rushing yards. It's completely negate your rushing game. I mean, was it just a, a lack of discipline? Was it an over officiated game? Don't bring that up to Jim Caldwell because uh, yeah, he says it's not. He shot down a question. I should say it's the best way to say it. he shot down a question about it being a lack of discipline. I'm not sure if he just didn't like the reporter. Quite possible. Um, or if he's just trying to diffuse uh, blame here, and that, that could be the issue too, because it, blame can be spread around. I wrote a story about an M Live. I actually went through Dave, cataloged every player who committed an, a, a penalty. It was like 14 guys. A couple of guys had two, um, but they, they, they weren't just penalties. They, you know, sometimes you have empty yards and so forth. But these were huge issues for the Lions. I mean, they had three touchdowns called back. Uh, at least five first downs were called back by penalties. I mean, these are in a one-point game, and when you score 15 points, losing three touchdowns is a huge deal. And it goes across the board. I mean, that the red zone drive, you know the one, it's just comical. I mean, for, yeah. you're, you're, you're first and goal from the one. You hit, you hit Eric Ebron, uh, pass interference against Ebron. That was a bad call, in my opinion. I saw the replays. Mike Pereira uh, weighed in on it. It was a bad call. Uh, but the Lions, you are, they are not absolved from that because then they go back and they score a touchdown the very next play, and Lake Tomlinson is whistled for holding. And then on the next play, uh, Anquan Bolden is, is whistled for holding. You, and now you're suddenly first in goal from the 1 to the 26. I mean, that, that just, for me, in one nutshell, encapsulates what, what the Lions did here. And, and the other thing that kind of stands out with this team, Kyle, uh, in addition to the penalties, the injuries, they just haven't been able to cover a tight end for two years now. I think it's, I think it's uh, 16 <laughs> touchdown catches in, in the last 18 regular season games by tight ends. Delaney Walker gets one today at six catches. Is there anything you can put your finger on there? I mean, they said last week, Dave, it was miscommunication because they allowed three, tight, uh, three touchdowns to tight ends just last week against the Colts. They cited miscommunication, but then they come out here the very first series, and Delaney Walker is running free. Their be I mean, besides Marcus Mariota, that's their, that's their best target, the best offensive playmaker, the guy you mark all week because you have all these documented issues against the tight end, uh, and he's running free. It looked like a breakdown from Nevin Lawson, but that's, that's inexcusable. And again, it goes to, to some of the issues we're seeing here with the Lions just in terms of sharpness and lack of discipline and, and, and lack of focus. Well, tough, tough, tough loss for the Lions. Kyle said last week when we were uh, in Indianapolis that he believes in momentum. It didn't carry over to the fourth <laughs> quarter today. We'll see if they get a little better job I out I think of it's them. just Lions momentum, right? It's up and then it's down. It's just this, <laughs> this like sign curve momentum. Well, yeah. it's not going to get any easier next <laughs> week at Green Bay. And uh, Kyle will have you covered. Go back to MLive.com slash Lions regularly this week uh, as the Lions prepare to play next week at Green Bay. Thanks for joining us.